it just struck me. I have to ask you on this. What really put you? Well, we were always on the map, but really like solidified it. And the other person's political career plummeted. Was your Rahul Gandhi interview, 2014? Thoda batao. Kya hua tha? What did you? What went Should through your head when you were interviewing him? And when you weren't getting head. The, your head, I wanted to know what you went through. What I went through. Yes. I'll tell you after. <laughs> but I'll, I, I mean, the thing is that see, sometimes things drag, no? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I felt it was dragging, because, uh, because. Uh, Women in power went. <laughs> It no. was repetitive and, and it's not easy as well. Pardon me. It wasn't yeah. easy for you. I mean, I'm just what? talking as a journalist. What was not easy? To do you that had to keep probing, the yeah, probing the uh, probing the man for an answer, and repeating your questions in different iterations. I sort of assessed him well in the green room before that because he had he had come up very excitedly, uh, walking up with me up the staircase, telling me about my Wikipedia background. and i realized that he was doing research on me and wanted to impress me about how much he knew about me and in the green room then he told me asked me how old i was and i said i'm so i'm, I'm this is my age he said oh you're much younger than me and uh, i said yes but i have 19 years of work experience <laughs> and and i i i told him because you know uh, he didn't get it he just staring at you he, he didn't get what i was trying to tell him and then in the interview also i don't think he got it and and i i felt uh, i mean you have seen the interview now yeah uh, i i think he blanked out after some time and the other thing is that you shouldn't try to impress i'm not impressed by any interview i anyway you know smita when i do interviews there is one thing i tell myself that if this is my last conversation with the person so be it <laughs> i never do an interview in the expectation of a second one yeah. you know and that is what i feel you said what should you tell journalism students i tell them this let this be the last one but let me not embarrass my profession by doing it in a way that i would not like the postscript of the interview to be read so i think it was a very simple conversation which uh, he could not handle appropriately hmm. appropriately and i feel that he and his party should not take it personally after all we are children of merit we are people who have educated ourselves we are worthy citizens of this country we know i'm not here to give someone a walk over hmm they you know? they've uh, boycotted your channel and one or two other channels and they they don't come on your debates and yeah. it continues they they said that because it's it's very personal your attack on them oh, rubbish i think that i think there are many people in these parties who want to ingratiate themselves to their bosses by trying to pretend that they are going to be the uh, you know the people who will save them from the attack of our now and republic and these self appointed custodians in these parties are the biggest enemies of these parties and they present the things like that yeah and let me tell you this people aren't quite missing them on tv it's fine mm. <laughs> people aren't writing to us to ask them to come yeah so uh, it's okay we don't miss them and and we don't have this you uh, see smita how, we don't have anything to gain or lose by a political party coming i have at one point of time been boycotted by all parties <laughs> when i did the story on 21 parliamentary secretaries being appointed wrongly by the aam aadmi party i was boycotted by them i was boycotted by the bjp when i questioned the late sushma swaraj and you know at that point of time vasundhara raje and lalit modi during uh, uh, lalit gate i have highest respect for individuals but i was only doing a story and so, even a pmo when you asked so, that question uh, during musharraf visit when you ask that question i mean in the pmo i know, i know they said never again will we invite or no it's it's so okay that, they i yeah. got i got invited once to a prime minister's press conference in 2011 and that is when i asked uh, manmohan singh any about the scams and he spoke about the compulsions of coalition politics so i was looking at it as a reporter i got news points out of all my interviews mm uh-huh. mm about the rahul gandhi interview ha, the Mushara interview became a news point mm. yeah. yeah the indeed. interview became a news point which was not the intention i was just simply doing a straightforward yeah. so chat. Th- so you've been in this rarefied air where you were in you've met him and all none i have met him so not a rarefied lot of air yes yes how many Who's people who's rarefied air how many how people, many people have, have met the first family so of the congress you have interviewed sonia Please gandhi and yeah. rahul gandhi yeah. Very nobody few people done can both. boast of that So no no just but I I I object to the use no, of the no, phrase it's verified it it's verified it so so you you see him you've seen him <laughs> yes. right in this sort of new relaunching that they're trying to do with this bharat jodo and etc do you think he can i mean he's a 
क्रेडिबल ऑपोजिशन कैन ही पुट अप अ रियल फाइट अगेंस्ट द बीजेपी इलेक्शन मशीनरी नाउ दिस इज अ कॉन्वर्जेशन ओनली इन लुटियंस डेली दिस होल कॉन्वर्जेशन कैन द कांग्रेस डू इट कैन इट बी डन इज अ कॉन्वर्जेशन दैट इज हैपनिंग विद इन अ 10 टू 10 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर एरिया इन दिस सिटी आई कैन अश्योर यू दैट एंड इट इज अ कॉन्वर्जेशन व्हिच इज ऑब्सेसिंग देम एंड आई थिंक दैट I think that people on in in Delhi media should go out of the city and then experience outside. This is not a conversation outside, not a conversation outside. Any party, any individual can transform themselves, but they have to be connected to this country, yeah. in spirit, in spirit, not through social media campaigns, not through what you call minders. Mm. Uh, we have, if we want to have a political party with its fifty-three-year-old debutants and seventy seventy-five-year-old minders, good for them. they can keep relaunching themselves i have no problem with it but it is not a matter which uh, which i spend too much time thinking about in this country there are so many things to do i totally don't have an opinion on it hmm. uh, if you ask you asking me for my guess no yeah not in this way not in this way. not in this carefully manicured way ishan hmm. anything that is uh, that is true is always uh, Uh, it comes out as 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 raw anything which is true is not manicured is not well planned it does not need minders if you are true and you're going to be accepted by the people of this country any political leader who rises from the masses will be accepted by the people of india in the future right and anyone who goes through a political finishing school hmm. right done by people who've lost themselves will never be successful in this country that is what i am observing i mean I, it's not then i need to be right but that's my sense of it ishar country has moved on hmm. the country has moved on and people are very aware very aware you know they don't look up any more to any individual they don't look at anybody as a first family yeah. they don't look at anyone having being first among equals anymore there is there is a competitive spirit hmm. which the prime minister alluded to in his speech when he spoke about an aspirational country right an aspirational country will not look up to someone because they are from a family this is my view and i i love that aspirational aspect of india but the narrative in delhi is still stuck 20 years back they're still asking in 2022 the questions which became irrelevant somewhere around 2006 2007